Hello, welcome to a joyous occasion, the end of Batman Dark Tomorrow. The best review for this game I could give it is it's a good Batman movie, with a bad game wedged in between it. And the movie isn't good enough to warrant playing the game, but at least let's watch the ending, or endings, as it is that kind of game where it's got not just one, not just two, and three would have been nice, but that's still wrong, but four alternate endings. Let's start with the absolutely worst one from there, and go from there. Though I think I have a bit more to play through. For the first part today, we're gonna head through... And I actually looked it up so we don't have to go through a lot of these. Take out this guard. Literally, there's like six guards till our ending. Probably could have avoided the laser trap there, but then again, I don't care. Make sure you save before you enter that room, by the way. You cannot go back. Your first enemies are these elite soldiers. And, um... Well, elite must not mean the same thing to Raya Shagul. Because... He dead. It's kind of funny that his normal guards seem more elite than these two people. I mean, think about it. I kicked the living hell out of the other guys, and they get back up. That guy there ain't gonna get back up, and this guy's down for the count, too. Boom. Stupidity. Well, I guess they're getting up now, but the other ones don't even seem phased. Okay. One more boss. And poor Raish just looks so bored behind us. Leave us. He is mine. I think I mentioned before, I'm not a very big comic book guy. So, is this guy typically his right hand man? Huh. Not sure what's up. I don't remember pausing here. Here we go. Ubu. 800 health. Ooh, this might be bad. But, well, am I actually stupid? I am. I just lost because I didn't have the med kit open. It doesn't look like I had anything in the med kit to begin with. Oh yeah, I just ran in from the slaughtering soldiers outside. <laughs> okay, you start with Ubu, knocking you out. He has the same color scheme as Aquaman, doesn't he? The green pants, the yellow shirt. The crap game. Except, actually, I can't say Aquaman put much talent into their uh, boss fights either. Long, th this fight's long because of all the health he has. But, uh, really, if you fought any of the villains before, Minus almost every villain before, I guess. Uh, you know how to handle him. Run up, run back, knock down, repeat. He'll actually block low, so we're back to the Zaz kicking. What is he doing? Oh god. Oh, that movie learned from Bane. Boom. Hey, run and punch. Okay, he can block. This is nuts. Good. Mm -hmm. So, yep, we're back to the old run, punch, knock him down technique of every other game. I mean, every other fight. Boop. I'm even halfway through his health bar. Come on. 
gonna take forever. And I have four endings to get through. That's right, there are four endings to this game. Also, uh, we're actually already locked into two. You have to do something before fighting off against the elite soldiers to get the other two. That's why I warned you to save before you went into this room. Ugh. You know, is it? I, I know I haven't beaten this guy yet, but is it weird that Black Mask was the hardest boss in this game? He's also the only one that had a ranged weapon, now that I think about it. Although, Mr. Freeze had the Ice Ray. And now we're into the loop. Do not adjust your television set. This is really one of those looping things you can do to take out the boss rather easily. Until you screw up like I just did. <gasps> Bang. Whoops. Shins of Steel! Come on. He likes to really kick you to death on the ground there. It's really sad that I think that's his signature attack. So generic, I don't care. Just die, you evil Mr. Clean. So, my advice for this fight is do not go back towards that wall because the camera throws you off. Keep within one camera angle. Nine points a hit. Eight hundred health. Over one hundred times of knocking him down. And someone greenlit this. But they didn't think elite soldiers maybe give them some of this guy's defenses. Come on. Is that carpet or wood floor I'm standing on? There we go. Hit zero, he is down. Which way did I come from? Right? Yes! Welcome to the Himalayas. Well, at least he's being very polite. Please, come in. Grace al Duo. Hello, beloved. Talia, I must applaud your resolve and your skill. I have lived for centuries, Detective. I have known emperors, dictators, generals, presidents, and philosophers. But I have never encountered a man like you. Enough. You've gone too far this time, Ray. Really? Because he's basically Sherlock Holmes. Within moments, my life's work will finally be a reality. The world will be saved from its destruction at the hands of imbecilic, myopic men who would destroy that which gives them life. It will be glorious, Detective. 
I have planted at two dozen strategic positions around the globe devices which, when activated, will detonate, causing enormous explosions. So Rosh's plan is to flood the world. Angeles, taking out all the coastal cities Gotham City to name but a few all will be annihilated by tsunamis Not the Sydney Opera House wipe the land clean as though the cities had never existed all land within 20 miles of the pretty much he stole his entire plan from another population. GameCube game you might have heard of it it's called Legend of Zelda Wind Waker millions will die those that remain will find themselves heir to a planet no longer in danger of poisoning itself. Its resources will no longer be stretched to the breaking point. Food will be a thing of abundance, especially as the waters recede, leaving rich soil ripe for... Yeah, nothing does better for soil than salt water. Salt's just great to plant things in. ...allowing plants and animals to breathe Race did not think this plan out at all. In centuries, the earth that is Everest he's showing. That is not Everest. Last, <laughs> mankind will have seen the error of its ways. And it Actually, he's in the Himalayas. That kind of makes sense. That thing about it. As its ruler, once they have seen the glory of the new world, finally, after centuries, there will be a bright tomorrow, filled with hope. And tranquil. Say it. The Say it. destruction that you speak of will only bring about a dark tomorrow. There we go. We have title. What? Happy? That's what this whole thing was playing up to. Was it worth it? No. I'm about to offer you a seat beside my throne. Your offer to succeed you. Yes. To become my heir. Oh, gee. I always wanted to succeed it. Genocidal. My, not even genocidal. It's everybody. You really are. Apocalyptic. Beloved. Crazed dictator. Yeah, it's great. Murderers. I am sorry to hear that you still feel that way, detective. You would have been a great ally and a deserving mate for my daughter. As it is, you will be a most worthy opponent. Talia, bring me the dueling sword. Yes, father. Bring me the dueling swords. So. This is how we end the game. Sword fight to the death. And then you both throw the swords down and you fight with your fists. Now, actually, you get to sword fight with him. This sounds like it would be so cool. Given all the other bosses I've already showed you, do you think it will be? No, it's just another stereotypical fight. I'm going to save here. For this slot. Third slot. I am not replaying this whole game. Dear God, I hope I did not screw this up. Just in case. Actually, it's kind of useless. You don't need to do that. Rosh here has less health than his bodyguard. And, um... I'm actually trying to kill him this time. I like how you just hold the sword up and he just flicks everything I throw at him. <sighs> dead. His head on the pavement, dead. Okay, I'm dead too. You dishonor me, detective. And why does this look familiar? Oh, right, we just did this fight. Come on. So yeah, much like all the other fights, this is actually pretty easy. Um. I might not win it though, as I say, it's very easy. I'm looking 
little more worse for wear than Raj here at this point. And honestly, I have to lose it once. Okay, 92, and I think this is 98. Oop. Come on, I can breathe, I can fight, I will save the world. Except no matter which way I go, I am kind of screwed. See which ending we're gonna get. And we're getting the very, very, very bad ending. Yep, no continue screen, just this. Ooh. So that's the very bad ending. Now let's see the slightly better ending, if I can beat him. So yeah, that, that save point there was not really needed. So let's actually beat Raish this time. Playing with the swords, we're fighting with our elbows. It's not any slashing damage, it's like I punched him in the face. See? It's the same thing I did earlier to everybody else in this game. What the heck was that? Okay, this battle's starting to turn against me, and I really don't wish to play this any longer than I have to. Okay. There we go. Come on, I beat Quest for Camilla. I should know how to use a sword. I'm not gonna lie, I'm watching this without audio, so it seems like I sped up the footage. <laughs> if only. This actually seems to be the speed it was going at when I played it. Maybe, maybe not, I don't remember. But that would have been a problem with my software, not. I, I didn't know for this. Man, I should have this. 19 part game into a 3 part mini series. Okay, it looks good. I should learn to stop saying it looks good, because that's when I get knocked down again. You know, I will point out that you're more no noble than any of the villains that try to hit you when you're down. Or, you try, you don't succeed. And he's kind of dead. Thrust! Parry! Dodge! Headbutt! Punch? That's what that looked like. No matter what, I lose the sword. Father. I may be defeated, but my vision will be a reality, and you will be there to witness it. 
So guess what? Be. Congratulations! You still lose. And if you saved after, right? If you didn't save, if you did save after you fought the elite soldiers, right before the elite soldiers, you have to play the whole game over to get the good ending. Ha! Ha! ha. Or more likely, you need to buy another copy of the game because you would have broken it in half. So, uh, what were you to do? Well, uh, you see. Okay, now let's learn how to get the good endings. Try Shell Ghoul's Castle number one. And after this is done, I'll delete the entire thing from the memory card. It's the happiest moment of my life. Okay, you actually have to go through one of these other portals here. Another one takes you to a Lazarus Spring, which is how Rosh keeps alive all these years. Um, and I think another one's just a dead end. And I tripped another laser thing, but I don't care. <laughs> and more of these, uh... Why can't they just stand around? Okay, actually, now that I think about it, that might be because Rosh told them to bring him in alive. Uh oh. Oh no! That sucks. Uh, I was really hoping to do this faster. Okay. Whoops. I don't even think you can get around that thing. Yeah, I don't think I did that. Something's coming hot on my heels. Okay. I'm already getting shot at. Okay, there we go. These four. That guy just ran. And now he's coming from so far. So go up here into this area. I don't know what this thing is. Decorative statue, maybe? Ah! Well, that looks like a good way to go. Now, when you show me two villains in front of me, showing me a forward shot of my face is not helpful. But that is expected with this game. Okay. Again, I'm pretty sure that's a thermostat. Here we are, control room type area. This is the device. You have to disable this using your little supercomputer again. But first, take out all the underpaid work that Rosh has here. Although, since we saw his plan, it might just be paid in. You get to live. Maybe a nice spot on his. Global Senate Committee. Okay. I gotta figure out how to turn this off. There's a blinking light right here. Oh, that's because... Did you not hear me? Take out three of your colleagues. Here's the computer, but what do I do? 
Okay, back curves. Universal tool. Nope. Huh. More computers over here. You know what? Let's see what I can figure out here. Okay. Run down hall. Let's do this. Do that. Alright. Okay. Yep. Eight computers in this room. Which one am I supposed to bloody use? Oh! Ah! Yeah, okay. Um. Alright. Let's see. Really. Gotta figure out how to do this. Wonder if anyone learned just to skip ahead a bit on these sections when I just start talking randomly. Yep. Yeah, I would honestly have thought after everything in this game that would have killed me. Okay, so we disabled the device. <sighs> Course, download the data. All the real-time fun of watching your computer boot up. Come on! Where's the Microsoft paperclip when you need him? Resume game. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's it, so, we can leave, I'll head back to that room with all the chambers, and we'll fast forward a bit. I'm in a dead end. Actually, I just crawled through the grates to here. Oh, I found a, uh, sketchbook. And then we jump! I don't know if I would have died if I missed that, but... Woohoo! Up here. Navigate the hallway, which is really hard to do with the camera. Yeah, I know where we are. This way. Hey, I remember you. This way. Hey guys, how you doing? Bob, I'm not paying you lie around. You! I don't even care to zip tie you up. And, uh, well, I don't feel like showing you guys the boss fights again, so let's zip ahead. Okay, fast forward a bit, let's start with the not so great, but not god awful ending. This requires you to disable the device and then lose to Rash Um This is actually easily done if you just remember that your health kit does not work when you don't have it selected. So I'm just gonna cuff this guy. Well I'm not gonna cuff him, you know, easily. Come on. I'm not gonna let him just, you know, kick my ass. I need to make him work for it. I win! I win! Oh, he stabbed me in the back. Right, villain. And, boom. Here we go. Bust. 
Parry, dodge, spin! You use your sword again. Pales you. Seemingly, same thing we already went through. It was either him or me. He wouldn't have killed you. Perhaps not. A thousand pardons for the intrusion, my lord. Ah, but you just stabled the weapon. Yes. It has been sabotaged. Aha! It is no longer operation. I still win! Bask in your glory while the world has its perspective. It is only a moment. But then, sadly, reality ensues. We can have the machines operational in 17 hours. Excellent. You have brought the world near ours. Nothing more. Farewell, protector. 17 hours. That's all you give Earth. All right. Let's move on to what really happened. Unfortunately, I didn't think this through. This will actually require me to beat him again on camera. Yeah, probably didn't think this one through. Okay, hmm. so just knock him down. I think I just got him at the knees there. <laughs> the swords make it look like we're supposed to be fighting, but really, it's basically the same fight. more times of knocking the old man over. You dishonor me, detective. <sighs> now that I said old man, I'm wondering maybe Vandal Savage is a villain. There we go. Now for the very good super ending. Insert Daffy Duck reference here that I was making this entire time. Performance problem? Surprise. I thought I knocked you out. Batman barely had dodged that, which is a note there. Congratulations, you killed your master, Renfield. Goodbye. Farewell, 
I'm sorry, is this whole place self-destructing? What is this, Mother Brain's Lair? Well, Goodbye, beloved. We shall yeah, that's, again, sounds a bit more like a threat than you'd think. Mm, perhaps it's time to get out of the castle. Yeah, it's nice that you're saving the workers, but how about all of those people you left tied up in the uh, whole place there, Batman? And again, the ones that are already frozen to death outside. Sequel hook. Sequel hook. Well, hopefully not. Oh man, I left my back glider behind. That's Batman, Dark Tomorrow. Sequel hook. Oh yeah, look badass on top of that rooftop. Just forget all the pain and torture you put me through this whole game. No, we're done. And credits. Ugh. Yeah, I had a final part here all written up to do a uh, solo after the credits, but I don't care. I'm not happy about this game, so I'm just going to start with it. Um, how, how bad was that game, really? Uh, very bad. Maybe, maybe it's not as boring as Aquaman, but it was way more frustrating to a huge extent. Like, the cameras are just the simplest thing they couldn't get right. Um cameras, hang gliding, the jump in the sewer, um, everything. Black masks, fight. The four endings is kind of creative, but I feel bad for anyone who played through this, got the bad ending when you lost to Rash al Ghul, got the other bad ending when you beat Rash al Ghul, and then learned you saved way too late and you can't go back to get the others. Oh my god. It's weird, if I did a, a top 10 list of bad games for Media Dimension, there'd be like three DC ones for the GameCube. Ugh. Yeah, Aquaman, Catwoman, Batman. And there's two other Batman games for this, this console, at least. Batman Begins, which I think is decent, um, and Batman Vengeance, which I don't really remember getting much into that game. Probably because I keep mixing it up with this one. The storyline is good behind it, I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, but the game just suffers so badly. I think you can... I think after you beat the game, like I just did, it opens up a, a thing. Like a... Uh, Other M had it. Theater mode. Which just shows you all of the clips. All of the videos of the, the, the show. Because if they gave you that before playing the game, you would never play it. it it's a decent story. I mean, they, the music is uh, by, like, the Royal Orchestra. I don't remember their name, sorry. They do a great job when they're used. 
but they're very not used, really. <sighs> so yeah, yep. Yeah, if if you needed a Batman game, skip skip this one. I really don't know what to tell you. Uh, I played the NES Batman 2, uh, Batman Batman Returns. That was okay. I actually haven't covered much of Batman now that I think about it. Um, I played Batman 1 on the NES. That was all right. Yeah, none of these are my YouTube videos. <sighs> yeah, there goes the music credits. Sorry. That hang glider. Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. That's who did the music behind this. That is vastly underused. It's actually more of a crime on how underused they are. Like, they're, they're one of the positives I've read about this game. It's story and music. Nothing about the game is involved. The trumpets! There was a tuba! And a harp? There was a harp in this game, think about that. Um... <laughs> ending theme is performed by Thor. <laughs> um, actually no, the ending theme is played by Trish. Um... And here's our great voice acting talents. Um, let's play a game of do you know any of these people? Man, I'm not even a Jim Cummings. Kind of surprised I don't know anyone there. I, I don't really follow many video game voiceover artists, so. Um, what am I covering next? Um, a game this bad, it's generally going to be something better. <laughs> a lot better. Um, I think I used to balance it out with Disney games. Played Aquaman, we played Little Mermaid next. I didn't think that one through. Oh, this is a memory of someone. I almost feel bad for making fun of this whole thing. But no, I had to be objective. Come on. You could have done better. Uh, I'm sure I'll find something to play, and I'll see you all then. Bye.